State police are increasing their patrols now on major roadways across the state, all in an effort to cut down on what we have all seen, aggressive and impaired driving. Now, this is a year-long approach to reduce the number of fatal crashes on our highways. NBC Connecticut's Kyle Jones joining us live in New Haven with a look at the plan. Kyle. Yeah, Keisha and Mike, you know, this year, state police have said that they have already seen seven people who have died in fatal wrong way crashes. And all of last year, there were seven total deaths. So we've already hit last year's number by the end of February. And so that number rose dramatically when four people died in that wrong way crash in West Haven over the weekend. And so this year long effort is to help reduce those numbers. You may soon see a lot more state police out on the highways. It's going to be a. a the full force of our patrol, as well as the uh, traffic services unit. State police are planning a broad traffic enforcement effort using their 900 troopers to target aggressive, dangerous, and impaired driving. Right now, that we have to be smart. Given the number of troopers we have, we have to focus on the areas right now that are extremely problematic, and we know where those areas are. In the next few weeks, troopers will be along 95 from Bridgeport to New Haven, and 91 from New Haven to Hartford as part of a year-long effort to increase patrols and reduce highway deaths. I really hope to see them more. Daniel Rodriguez says that he sees a lot of bad drivers out on the roads. I see a lot of people just jumping ahead in front of other people. I see a lot of road rage. I don't see very many, I don't see very many kind people on the road these days. It's pretty dangerous. State police made 312 OUI arrests in the first two months of the year. It's an important number that's often tied to fatal wrong way crashes. While that number peaked in 2022 with 13 crashes and 23 fatalities, so far this year, three crashes killed seven people matching that same number of deaths from last year. Many of you know I lost my best friend to a wrong way crash last year. Uh, and stepped up enforcement, uh, this increased use of technology, it's all helpful, but we have to change behavior. Please drive sober. And so the efforts have already started. They had a patrol last week on Route 15 from Greenwich all the way to Meriden then made 170 stops for passenger vehicles on the highway there and they gave out $8,000 in fines for commercial vehicles because commercial vehicles are not allowed on the Merritt and Wilbercross parkways. Live in New Haven, I'm Kyle Jones, NBC Connecticut News. Keisha, back to you. Kyle, thank you.